Antibiotics during pregnancy can be dangerous. Using antibiotics during pregnancy can be dangerous if it is not in line with what science so far knows. Over the decades, research has helped define which drugs are safe and which are not for pregnant women. The use of antibiotics during pregnancy is relatively common. Many conditions that pregnant women suffer from require antimicrobial treatment, and there would be no other way to cure them. Take, for example, UTI, or its quieter form, asymptomatic bacteriuria. The doctor should prescribe an antibiotic for the pregnant woman. But the point is, using antibiotics during pregnancy can be dangerous if you don't choose the right one. As with all medicines, there are some side effects to be aware of. And during pregnancy, these effects can affect both the mother and the fetus. While some extremist positions recommend against the use of medication during pregnancy, the truth lies elsewhere. So far, science has demonstrated the safety of using several drugs, including antibiotics. But for others, a total ban applies. The same applies to certain antimicrobials that cannot be prescribed or used in self-medication in the event of pregnancy because the result can be disastrous. How Antibiotic Use Affects Pregnancy When a pregnant woman takes an antibiotic, the process by which the drug passes through the body is very similar to the usual process. Almost all antibiotics end up being excreted in the urine to get them out of the body. In pregnant women, renal flow increases, as does the volume of urine produced. This results in faster elimination of drugs and therefore a lower concentration of them in the blood. In any case, even if their elimination is faster, what one assesses about the antibiotic is its ability to cross the placenta and reach the fetus. Then, once the placenta is crossed, it is important to know whether they are teratogenic or not. A teratogenic drug is a drug that can cause a birth defect or abortion. The strongest teratogenic effect caused by antibiotics occurs during the first three months of gestation, that is, until the twelfth week. Later, when the organs are already formed, these drugs no longer cause changes in the organs, but in the functions, and they can be just as dangerous. On the other hand, when using antibiotics during pregnancy, it is also examined whether they have an influence on the placenta. Antibiotics that impair placental function limit the growth of the fetus and cause it to be underweight. Safe antibiotics during pregnancy. The use of antibiotics during pregnancy is dangerous if the indications and scientific knowledge about them are not observed. Otherwise, they can be used safely when the protocol requires. The penicillin and its family of antibiotics have proven safer for pregnant women and fetuses. So far, all research has found no association between these drugs and teratogenesis. Even their current use serves as proof. The same reasoning applies to the cephalosporin family, linked to penicillin. They are safe to use and useful for urinary tract infections, for example. Nitrofurantoin is another antibiotic used in UTIs in pregnant women because of its safety. This antimicrobial is especially useful for pregnant women who are allergic to penicillin, as it becomes the appropriate choice. There is evidence in favor of azithromycin in studies in pregnant animals. This is why they fall under the category of Class B drugs for pregnancy. Class B drugs are those considered safe to use during pregnancy because animal research has shown it, as well as frequent use in clinical practice. All this experience certifies that they do not cause birth defects. Dangerous drugs during pregnancy. Among the antibiotics that are dangerous to use and contraindicated during pregnancy, we can mention aminoglycosides, associated with fetal kidney damage and congenital deafness. Tetracyclines affect the growth of bone and cartilage in the embryo, as well as the structure of teeth. Fluoroquinolones, in clinical experience, they have generated alterations in the cartilage. The nephrotoxicity of these antibiotics to the mother should also be taken into account, and not just the risks to the fetus. Especially when combinations of antibiotics are used, there may be an adverse effect on the kidney function of the pregnant woman. Just as we are talking about Class B drugs, in this case, we must mention those that are Class 10. This classification, present in the brochures, allows us to orient ourselves. 
Class 10 antibiotics are prohibited during pregnancy because research in animals and humans, as well as clinical experience, has shown them to be teratogenic. If the medicine pack or package leaflet says it is a class 10 medicine, you should not take it when you are pregnant. Not self-medicating remains a priority. A doctor is the ideal professional to prescribe and advise you on the use of antibiotics during pregnancy. This will protect your health and that of your baby in training.